Hey guys, welcome into the video. So I'm filming this Friday, mid-trading day. I'm currently up about $1,500 to $2,000. Very solid day leading into the weekend. So in this video, I wanted to get some thoughts out that I've been having. I wanna let you guys know about a few penny stock strategies and just some things to know about penny stocks in general. Before we get into the video, I wanna recap some of our wins and losses today. So let's get into that. So the first stock we're having take off today is Foresight Autonomous Holdings. This is my penny stock video from last night, ticker symbol FRSX. It's up about 11% when I'm filming this. It hit a high of about 20% up today. This is one of my favorite stocks. They have earnings in about two weeks. I do expect this stock to be trading the $2 range pretty soon. And as you saw the due diligence in my last video, there are some big things coming up with this stock. One of my favorite stocks and I'm holding over the weekend very, very strong. Kronos is down about 12% today. I'm loading all the way back up on this dip and I expect big things once again next week. They have the Facebook Live once again on Tuesday talking about their marketing and things are just going very, very good. I did expect this pullback. So for that reason, I took some profits. I was waiting for the pullback, the pullback happened, and now I'm all the way back into my position and I saved some money in the process. Next up, we got Hawkeye, ticker symbol HWKE. This is my penny stock video last night as well. It's up about 10% currently, very solid gains. I do expect this to be trading in the $1.50 range within the next few weeks to month. There's also CHF Solutions, ticker symbol CHFS. This is one of my favorite stocks to buy right now. I've been loading up on every dip. Today is up about 4% while I'm filming this, and they have earnings next week, August 4th, on Tuesday. I expect them to impress investors, beat expectations, and get a lot of people excited about their new products. So I'm hoping for a dollar plus after earnings. So some stocks that are down right now, but I'm holding very, very strong. Tomi Environmental, ticker symbol T-O-M-Z, one of my favorite penny stocks right now. I'm holding very strong and I'm loading up on every dip. Also BioKey International, ticker symbol B-K-Y-I. This has been trending down ever since I bought in. So I've been lowering my cost basis when I can and I love this stock. This is gonna take some patience. I see this as a one to two month hold. They have a bunch of catalysts coming up as well and just things are going very good. I do believe this stock is one of the most undervalued stocks in the market. I've been loading up on the Golden Nugget merger as well, which is LCA. It's down another 2% today. So yesterday I started loading up when it was down about 4%. Today it's down another 2%. I'm buying more, lowering my cost basis. And in the mid 11s, it hits support. I don't expect it to go any lower than 11. So I'm for that reason, I'm loading up and I see 3x upside if you're willing to hold a year plus. This one of my favorite companies. Now the management is kind of iffy. That's what scares me about it. We know the owner of the company is not the best guy. does not have the best intentions, but I still do believe in the business model. They're already profitable. So for that reason, I'm loading up on LCA. One of our biggest wins as well is Jumia Technologies, sticker symbol JMIA. I've been talking about this for the past month or two. One of my favorite stocks long-term, and this is already up at $15. I've mentioned it down at $4, down at $5, and at $9, and now it's at $15. So if you bought on my first recommendation, that's a 3X already. So congrats to everybody holding Jumia Technologies, some big gains right there. So what I wanna talk about in this video is penny stocks in general. So the truth behind penny stocks is a lot of these companies are not good companies and they have bad intentions. So what's the reason that these companies are trading for pennies? They have a bad history, they're just starting, or they may go bankrupt. There's so many issues trading with penny stocks that you always gotta be careful, and for this reason, I almost never hold on to penny stocks. So my strategy behind penny stock investing is I find the big catalysts coming up. I also find the stocks that the market has not realized yet, and I also find the stocks that the market is very excited about. Those are the three type of penny stocks that I personally focus on. And so my strategy behind these penny stocks is every single pop that I get leading up to a catalyst, I'll sell, I'll take profits. For example, I love Kronos. You guys know that I love Kronos. I love this stock long term as well. The beginning of this week, in a span of two days, Kronos was up 70%. So what did I do? Did I hold because I like this stock so much? No, I actually sold when it was up 70%. So the reason behind this is because you can never trust a penny stock. We just gotta be real with that. You can never trust a penny stock. Penny stocks are due for pullbacks after every pop. And I was guessing that Kronos was gonna have a pullback as well. It went up the next day after I sold, but the two days after that, we've seen two pullbacks in a row. So no matter how much I like this penny stock long-term, I always take profits whenever this penny stock pops because you can always get another buying opportunity with penny stocks. They're so volatile, guys. Just take profits whenever you see any big gains. So the next thing that I do with penny stocks is I cut losses as soon as possible. If anything changes my thesis, if anything makes me rethink my thesis, if anything it just scares me just a little bit and it's too risky for me, I'll cut losses immediately. Sometimes I'll cut losses like an hour later after making an investment, after making a trade, just because it's not worth the risk to me. I rethink everything about it, I see something new in the social landscape, and I just pull out of it because it's not worth the risk. So my strategy with penny stocks, you're gonna lose a lot of the time. We gotta be real with that. For me, I lose on about 40% of my penny stock picks, to be real. So how do I make money if I'm losing almost half of the time? The reason behind this is what I do is I manage the risk reward ratio. 
So let's talk about this for a second, Kronos. So Kronos was trading for about seven cents a while back. This is when I first bought the stock. And I saw this stock with potential to hit $1 if everything went right because Kevin Harrington joined the team. There was just a bunch of good things going behind the stock. Now there's also a good chance that, that company's gonna fail. We don't know anything about the business really. Now I look deep into the business, but still you can't be so sure about a penny stock. So there's probably like a 50-50 chance back then that Kronos would be cut in half, that Kronos would be trading for three cents a week later. Instead of that, I saw their reward. So would you rather have downside of 50% or have upside of 1,000%? If you have a 50-50 shot of losing half your money or multiplying your money by 10, you're gonna go with the multiplying your money by 10 every single time. So that's my strategy behind penny stocks. I always look at the risk reward. If their risk is like 5% is the worst risk. For example, I'm looking at LCA right now. Now, of course, it's not a penny stock, but I'm just using this as an example because it's down so much. So currently, the lowest downside that I see possible is the low 11s. I don't see this stock going any lower than that because it's already profitable. It's going to be hyped. It's a SPAC play, so people are going to get excited leading up to the merger. So like I was saying, I see almost no downside with this stock. So the downside risk, let's say 5%. I also see upside if you're holding up to the merger, easy 2x potential. If you're holding year, easy 3x potential. So if you have a 50-50 shot of losing 5% of your money or doubling it, what are you going to pick? That's just my strategy behind these penny stock investments. Now I'm always prepared to lose on any investment I make. Even the penny stocks that I'm super, super confident in, I never expect to win because you always got to play defense. Playing defense makes the best offense. So if you cut your losses quickly, some of your penny stocks are bound to win and get you those high returns. Another example that I can use is ticker symbol RVVTF. So I've been trading in and out of this one because I have been expecting virus phase three trials news for that and it actually came out today and I've been watching ticker symbol RVVTF for a while. I've been seeing it trend down almost every single day but we know that the virus phase three news is imminent, right? So in the next week or so, I was expecting that and we finally got that news today. So I was losing about 5% of my investment, let's say. And I knew that a 50% pop was coming. So today we got that 50% pop and I broke out 30% ahead on my investment. So I looked at the risk reward on that one. I knew that the pop was coming, I just didn't know when. So for that reason, the risk reward wasn't my favor, so I held on tight and boom, reap the benefits today. I've made mistakes in the past going with overhyped penny stocks, such as IDnomics, there's some IDEX. This attracted the shorters, attracted Hindenburg Research, they shorted it heavy, and for that reason, I had to cut losses very, very quickly. My thesis behind that trade was the hype behind it, and I was expecting everybody in the social research aspect was hyping ideonomics up like crazy. There was interviews of the CEO. I'm sure you guys saw that. But as soon as I saw the Hindenburg research come out, as soon as I saw investors talking about this, investors being very, very scared, I saw them talking about selling out. I sold out immediately as soon as I realized that investors are very, very scared of what's happening. We gotta get out as soon as possible because my thesis behind this is just because of the investor landscape hyping it up. And now that that's gone, I had to cut losses very, very quickly. So a lot of people made the mistake of holding on IDnomics long term. I still get people telling me um, they're holding IDEX and when it's gonna bounce back. So IDnomics is now down trading below $1.50. I believe it's like at $1.45 now or something like that. It may bounce back over the long term, but it may not, we don't know. So why would you hold on just losing money every day? You know it's gonna go down the next day. Back then, it was just going down every single day. It dropped from the mid threes all the way down to $1.50, so more than a 50% loss if you bought at the peak. But there's just a lot of bag holders with penny stocks. You gotta be careful not to be with those with penny stocks and make sure not to get the sunk cost theory. And the sunk cost theory, this means that you've lost so much already. So let's say you held on to ideonomics, you're down 50%. You're saying, oh, I've lost so much already. There's no way that I lose any more. These people end up losing a lot more and developing bad habits over the long term. So what I say is sell out, even if you're down big, if you believe your money is better used elsewhere. That's how I trade. So if I have a low conviction trade, I'll just sell that, put it in a high conviction trade. Your money is best used in the plays that you're confident in. So that's where I personally put like 80% of my funds all in the high conviction trades. You gotta be confident what you're trading with and if you're only a little bit confident, it's not worth it. Move that money to where you believe it is best used. So pretty much what I'm trying to say here is you gotta be very, very careful with penny stocks. You gotta cut losses almost immediately. You gotta take gains on every pop and you gotta trade smart with your money, putting it where it is best used. So that's how I personally trade penny stocks. You can never trust penny stocks 100% no matter how much you like the business because they could be lying about it. So let's use this as an example of a penny stock company lying about a PR. So let's say this company that makes frozen pizzas calls up Walmart. They say, hey Walmart, can we get a deal going? Can we work with you? Can we distribute our frozen pizzas in your store? Walmart says, okay, we'll think about it. We'll get back to you. But Walmart's also thinking, okay, there's what, a 10% chance 
that we actually take in this frozen pizza company because we don't believe their product belongs in our stores. So this company who sells the frozen pizzas, trading for let's say one penny, will put out a PR saying, deal with Walmart coming soon. Deal with Walmart is imminent. Something above those lines, investors see this, get super, super excited saying, oh, a deal with Walmart is coming soon. And the insiders of the frozen pizza company, they know that they're not gonna get the deal with Walmart, so they sell all their shares. And the people holding this frozen pizza company get absolutely destroyed. So that's what you always have to be careful of. You can never trust these penny stocks 100%, guys. With penny stocks, you always gotta be careful of watching out for the pumps and dumps as well. A lot of these penny stocks have such low float, such high volatility. They could go up 50% one day, and the next day they're down 60%. So you always gotta be aware of that. People like to hype these stocks up and then sell out immediately. So you gotta be ready at any point. That's why I say to take your money whenever the penny stock pops because you don't know if it's being manipulated. You don't know if somebody's controlling all of the shares. Just take your profits and move on to the next opportunity. Don't get stuck back holding. So anyways guys, I just wanna give you my thoughts on penny stocks. I do see a lot of people still asking me about penny stocks that I was trading like a week ago, three weeks ago. Um, guys, I take profits almost immediately at any pop. So for example, I've gotten questions on TGB almost all week this week. I sold TGB on Monday at the market open pop. It popped about 20%. I was up about 50% overall in my position, so I took profits immediately. Because you cannot ever trust a penny stock. I knew that the pencil was there for TGB to go over $1 pretty easily, but I also knew why would I not just take profits and move on to the next opportunity that could also be as well as TGB. So I sold TGB almost immediately. It was definitely the right move as it's been trending down all week since then. So there's another example to just take profits super, super quickly, guys. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on some penny stocks, my strategy behind them, just give you guys some background and some risk management. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about trading penny stocks, leave me a comment down below. I do believe that the skill of trading penny stocks is one that you can master. And once you master this, it stays with you for life and you can make so, so much money off penny stocks. You just gotta risk manage. If you're interested in joining the private stock group, the link is down below. I send portfolio updates every single day. Every time I buy and sell a stock, I send a message to the group. There's also discussions. Everybody's finding research and sharing with each other. Just finding the best plays. It's a great community. So the link is the first link in the description down below. If you want to get two free stocks on Weeble or five free dollars in Acorn Investing, those links are down below as well. And thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like on the video. Leave me a comment. Thank you guys. Let's get rich.